Welcome into the Chiefs Report. I am your host, Harrison Graham, back with another batch of Chiefs rumors for you guys. Yes, we will also break down Mel Kuyper's latest mock draft and who he took to the Chiefs later on in the show, so stick around for that. But let's start with some rumors focused on the draft as well. Could the Chiefs be trading out of round one because of Patrick Mahomes? Let me further explain. ESPN Chiefs reporter Adam Teacher had this note saying Kansas City should trade down. Obviously, they could use more picks. We've talked about that quite a bit. Kansas City only has five draft picks in this year's NFL draft. But Teacher went on to say that Patrick Mahomes' extension is going to come at some point and his cap hit is going to be a lot higher, probably around 20% of the Chiefs' overall salary cap which means that you need a depth of players on cheaper deals. We know how this works. The the Seahawks have had to revamp their roster because they paid Russell Wilson huge money. You can do it. You can win with the high-paid quarterback. The 49ers just got to the Super Bowl with Jimmy Garoppolo, and he was the highest-paid quarterback a couple of years ago. You look at the top five highest-paid now, obviously Russell Wilson leads the way at $35 million. Mahomes is going to top that. He's going to get 36, 37, maybe 38 million per year. Uh, obviously, those other guys on the list as well. Mahomes is better than all of them. You can win with your quarterback being the highest paid player in the NFL. What you have to do, though, is draft really, really well. And having more draft picks gives you a better chance of getting quality players. You got to find good players in the third and fourth round. That can be, you know, at least depth pieces and things of that nature. The Chiefs have drafted pretty well in recent history we'll see if they do that again this year i think trading down makes a lot of sense uh to get extra draft picks for one and for b you're gonna have to pay patrick mahomes big money as well should kansas city trade down from number 32 obviously that is their first round pick type y for yes type in for no let me know what you guys think i can less one of about three players is there like a kenneth murray a patrick queen or if like a cj henderson falls i think trading down makes a lot of sense All right, Chiefs Kingdom, we're almost there. 50 subs away from 3,000. If we get to 3K by midnight tonight, today is Wednesday, so midnight on uh, Wednesday night, I will shout out five random new subscribers on our next show. Five of you guys, give you guys a shout out. So go ahead, hit that big red subscribe button. We got the latest rumors and news, and plus more subscribers, it equals more videos going up on the channel. So go ahead and subscribe right now. Next rumor here, kind of related to Patrick Mahomes as well. Chris Harris hopped on Fox Sports uh, yesterday. Speak for yourself, hopped on that show and uh, was asked a a bevy of questions and talked about trying to slow down the Chiefs, trying to slow down Patrick Mahomes. He says he thinks the Chargers have the ingredients on defense to slow down Mahomes in that Chiefs offense. Obviously, Kansas or uh, Chris Harris is familiar with Kansas City, having played with the Broncos for several years. Here is a deeper dive into what he actually said. He actually wasn't bagging the Chiefs. He was just confident, saying, quote, in order to stop a great quarterback, you've got to have a good pass rush. And I think with our D-line that we got with Bosa, Ingram, Winville, Joseph that we just added, and all the other pieces that we've got, you've got to have a D-line. And as long as we're coordinated as a secondary, we're definitely going to try and make it hard for him. So he focused on the D-line there look Chargers defensive line is really good and their defense as a whole is really good I love their secondary as well Joey Bosa Melvin Ingram maybe the best one-two punch coming off the edge in the NFL Joseph was a good addition as well Joseph is really the only new piece on that defensive line though overall so I mean I don't think it's really a huge different look than what the Chiefs have seen obviously Chris Harris in the mix in that secondary will be a new addition that'll make things uh, maybe a bit more tricky for Patrick Mahomes and this Chiefs offense but I've said it I stand by it the only thing that can completely stop this Chiefs offense is Kansas City itself yeah sure you can slow them down and that's more of what Chris Harris is talking about he's been around for a while he's not going to sit there and say we're going to shut them down but I think overall the Chiefs are going to be just fine all of their weapons are back I would not worry about the Chargers one bit Tight KC if you think the Chiefs will win the AFC West yet again in 2020 i'm very confident i think kansas city has another super bowl run in them this upcoming season so go ahead type kc if you think the chiefs will win the afc west this next season i think we'll see a lot of kcs down in the comment section what you should also do speaking of patrick mahomes is get this sweet short sleeve mahomes uh hoodie you can work out in this thing i'm getting one of these puppies today go to chatsports.com chief seven chatsports.com slash chief seven 
It's 25% off, just over 40 bucks right now. Usually this thing is approaching 60 bucks. Go ahead and order today. The link will be in the comments. It'll be in the description. Get yourself a Mahomes short sleeve hoodie right now. All right, let's get into Mel Kuyper's latest mock draft. Uh, a couple of picks for the Chiefs. He did a two-round mock. Uh, DeAndre Swift in the first round. This is the same thing McShay did on his latest mock. They go running back again here. A little surprised because since the McShay mock, Kansas City has added running back DeAndre Washington to their current core of runners. Look, DeAndre Swift would be the best running back on this team. I'm not disputing that. I just don't think running back is a major need. I'm down to add a piece at that position, but I think Kansas City needs another corner. I think they need another linebacker. I love Swift. He's explosive. He would be great in this offense. I'm not saying they can't take him under any circumstances. I just think going in a different direction and obviously trading down would make a lot more sense. This would be a fun depth chart, uh, a running back rotation if they did get him. Swift. Damian Williams, DeAndre Washington, Dar Darwin Thompson, Darrell Williams. I think one of those guys would have to go. Probably Darrell Williams would either get cut or maybe get traded for a late round pick. It's fun. It's creative. If I'm playing Madden, sign me up for it. But this isn't Madden. The Chiefs don't run the ball a ton. Uh, they throw the ball a lot, which Swift is a good catcher as well. But if I'm grading this pick, C+, plus, uh, you know, it's good value because he is the best running back in this draft. He's a top 15, top 20 prospect. So if you get him at 32, in that sense, it's probably more of a B or a B plus. But I think just with what the Chiefs need, it's more of a C plus. So overall, that's what my grade would be for uh, DeAndre Swift at number 32. Go ahead and grade the pick for yourselves down below. Let's talk about Cameron Dantzler, the next pick here. They go cornerback, or Mel Kiefer goes cornerback with the Chiefs' uh, second pick here. Uh, Dantzler out of Mississippi State, good size, 6'2", about 190. Could put on about 10 pounds, but I like the height there. I like the length. He did hurt his stock at the NFL Combine. Did not run well. Ran like a 4.64 or something like that. The Chiefs need to replace Kendall Fuller. Answer is not really a nickel. So if you add him, he's kind of another outside corner, which the Chiefs still need. They don't have a lot of depth at cornerback. I wouldn't hate this pick. I think this is more of an early, mid, third round prospect. So again, maybe if Kansas City trades down, get a third round pick, take Dantzler there. Sign me up for that. He was productive, good tackler, eight pass breakups, a couple of picks. He had five in his three seasons at Mississippi State. He's a good player, but I think second round's a little rich for Dantzler. Mid 4-6 in the 40, look, I'm not one to overrate the 40-yard dash, but for cornerbacks, that's a little bit slow for me. I don't know if I can uh, spend a, a second round pick on a guy that ran in the mid 4-6s in the 40-yard dash. So not crazy about this pick either, but Kansas City does need a cornerback. These are some of the corners taken before Dantzler and Mel Kuyper's mock draft. Jeff Akuda out of Ohio State. He goes top five to the, to the Lions at number three. C.J. Henderson all the way at number 12. He's getting some buzz. I don't think he's falling to the Chiefs at 32. A.J. Terrell, he goes to the Saints at number 24 out of Clemson. Utah corner Jalen Johnson, the Vikings at num pick number 25. And then Noah Igbenogany, he goes 31, one pick before the Chiefs' first round pick to the San Francisco 49ers. How about this? Christian Fulton, he falls to round two. He goes number 38 overall in Mel Kuyper's latest mock draft to the Carolina Panthers. Ohio State corner Damon Arnett, he goes mid-second round to the Broncos at 46. Jeff Gladney fell all the way to 51 in this mock. He goes to the Cowboys. And then Trevon Diggs almost got to 63. If he fell there, that would be a home run pick. He goes to the Titans at number 61. So I want to propose uh, something for you guys. I mentioned Fulton. He fell to round two. So Kansas City get, could have gotten him at 32. What would you rather do? Would you rather draft Christian Fulton at number 32 or Cameron Dantzler like Mel Kuyper did at number 63? I kind of think I'd rather take Fulton at number 32. So type KF if you want to take Fulton at 32 or type CD if you want to take Dantzler at number 63. But he took Dantzler, and this is what the cornerback depth chart would look like for the Kansas City Chiefs if he were to join uh, the unit. I don't think he's a starter. I think Breland and Ward are your outside guys, and Fenton's your nickel. I think Dantzler's ready to go if someone gets hurt on the outside. And then Hamilton and Brown, some uh, you know even lower replacements there as well, special teams guys. I don't think Dantzler comes in and starts, and that's why I don't love him with the second-round pick. Your first two picks, first and second round, you got to try and get starters. 
I don't think Cameron Dantzler is a starter if he comes to Kansas City in year one. Now, Breland's on a one-year deal. Maybe you groom him for a season and he starts in 2021. But I just think there's other directions Kansas City could go. So just to recap, DeAndre Swift in round one, Cameron Dantzler in round two. And then those would be the remaining picks for the Kansas City Chiefs. Again, I still think trading down from number 32 makes a ton of sense. Only eight days away. We'll see what happens on April 23rd.